In the previous lecture, we discussed the concept known as mutual inductance or simply inductance. Now, let's look at the following example. Suppose we have a long thin solenoid that consists of n number of loops of conducting wire, has a cross-sectional area given by A, and has a length given by L as described in the following diagram. So we have a solenoid, the cross-sectional area is A, the length is L, and the number of loops of wire is given by uppercase N. So, in part A we essentially want to determine the equation for the self-inductance L of the following solenoid. So let's begin by describing what exactly is taking place within our solenoid. So we have a certain alternating electric current, a changing electric current given by I, which is essentially traveling through these loops of wire which are closed very, which are packed very closely with respect to one another. Now, when our electric current is traveling through the loops of wire, that will create a magnetic field inside our solenoid. And because our current is alternating, that means our magnetic field will also be changing. And that will create a changing magnetic flux. Now, by Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, that will basically imply that an induced EMF will be created within our loops of wire. And that is known as self-inductance or simply inductance given by L. So we want to determine the equation for this quantity. So, Let's begin by looking at the following equation. So because we are dealing with a solenoid, in the lecture on solenoids, we were able to derive the following equation. So this is the equation that gives us the magnetic field B that is produced within our solenoid as a result of our electric current I. So the magnetic field B is equal to the permeability of free space mu naught multiplied by n, the number of loops of wire, multiplied by I, our electric current, divided by L, the length of our thin long solenoid. Now, let's move on to this section. So we know that this changing magnetic field B creates or induces a change in magnetic flux. Now let's define what our magnetic flux is. By definition, magnetic flux is equal to the dot product of our magnetic field B and our area A. Now, because the angle between these two vectors is zero, cosine of zero is one, and this becomes, by definition of dot product, the magnitude of B multiplied by the magnitude of A. Now, now we can take the following magnetic field B and replace this B with the following equation that we were able to show in this side. So let's take this and plug it in for B and we get the following result. So mu naught multiplied by N multiplied by I multiplied by A divided by L. Now finally, let's recall how we define inductance or self-inductance. Inductance given by L was defined as the product of N, the number of loops of wire, and our magnetic flux, and that was divided by our electric current that flows through our loops of wire. So this is the equation that we defined in the previous lecture, and it comes from experimental results. Now, in this section, we define our magnetic flux using the following equation. So once again, let's take this and replace this quantity with this entire equation. So we get the following result. So our inductance L is equal to the product of N mu naught N I A divided by I times L. Now notice the I's appear on top and bottom. We can cancel them out and we get the following equation. And we also combine our N's because we have two N's. 
So the amount of inductance in our solenoid is equal to mu naught, the permeability of free space, multiplied by the square of n, the number of loops of wire, multiplied by a, the cross-sectional area of our solenoid, divided by l, the distance, the length of our solenoid. Now, let's move on to part b. In part b, we are given the following values, and we want to use this equation to calculate. So, if the number of loops is 800, if our length is 8 meters, and if our area is 0.03 meters squared, calculate our inductance L. So, so we apply this equation. So our mu naught, our permeability of free space, is equal to 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7 teslas, multiplied by meters divided by amps, multiplied by the square of 800, multiplied by 0 0.03 meters squared, divide that by 8 meters, our length, and we get about 0 0.003 henrys, or simply 3 millihenrys, is the quantity of our inductance in this particular solenoid.